everyone. Today, we are going to talk about transportation safety, especially when dealing with hazardous chemicals. This topic is important because it helps us prevent accidents and protect both people and property. Let's get started. Introduction Transportation safety is crucial to prevent accidents and ensure everyone stays safe. As the chemical industry grows, we are transporting more hazardous materials. This increases the risk of accidents. For example, the Bhopal tragedy in 1984 was a major industrial disaster that highlighted the need for strict safety measures in handling and transporting hazardous chemicals. Types of Chemical Transportation There are several ways we transport chemicals. Inside the plant, we use trucks, forklifts and pipelines to move chemicals from one place to another. Locally, we use company vehicles and contract services to transport chemicals within a short distance. Across the country, we use trains, ships and airplanes to move chemicals over longer distances. Internationally, we transport chemicals using trucks, pipelines, trains, ships and airplanes. Each method has its own safety requirements. Roles and Responsibilities Many people are involved in the transportation of chemicals and each has specific responsibilities. The consigner or consignee must make sure that drivers are trained and have all necessary safety information. The transporter or owner needs to check that the vehicle is properly registered and safe and that the driver is trained. The filler should ensure the equipment is in good condition and grounded if needed. The loader must check that packaging is not damaged before loading. The Dangerous Goods Safety Advisor, DGSA, ensures compliance with safety rules, prepares reports and reviews training. The unloader verifies the correct goods are unloaded and checks for any damage. The tanker operator maintains the equipment and keeps track of the hazardous materials. The driver carries important documents like the TREN card and follows safety and emergency procedures. Rules and Regulations There are several important rules and regulations we must follow for transportation safety. The Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS, IS 18149-2023 provides guidelines for transporting dangerous goods. The UN classification system has nine hazard classes to categorize dangerous goods. The manufacture, storage and import of hazardous chemicals, MSIHC, rules 1989, regulate how we handle these chemicals. The Petroleum and Explosives Safety Organization, PESO, oversees the oil and gas industry. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, ensures safety at sea. The Central Motor Vehicles Rules, 1989, cover road transport within India. Identification, Classification and Labeling Identifying, classifying and labeling chemicals correctly is essential for safety. Hazardous materials can cause serious harm to people, property, and the environment if not managed properly. Let's go through the nine classes of these materials to understand their risks better. First, we have explosives. These are things like fireworks and dynamite. They can cause sudden and powerful explosions, so they must be handled very carefully. Next are gases. This class includes propane, which is flammable, nitrogen, which is non-flammable, and chlorine, which is toxic. Gases can catch fire, suffocate, or poison people, making them very dangerous. Flammable liquids are things like gasoline and alcohol. These liquids catch fire very easily and need to be handled with great caution. 
Flammable solids include materials like matches and magnesium powder. They can ignite from heat or friction, which means they can start a fire quite easily. Oxidizing substances and organic peroxides are chemicals that can cause or intensify a fire. Examples are oxygen tanks and certain bleaching agents. They make other materials burn more fiercely. Toxic and infectious substances are very harmful. Pesticides are toxic and medical waste can be infectious. These substances can cause serious health problems or even death if they come into contact with people. Radioactive materials, like those used in some medical or industrial equipment, emit radiation. This radiation can be very harmful to health, so these materials need special handling and storage. Corrosive substances include things like acids and battery fluid. They can cause severe damage by destroying skin and metals upon contact. Lastly, we have miscellaneous dangerous substances and articles. These include items like dry ice and asbestos. They don't fit neatly into the other categories but are still hazardous and require careful handling. Understanding these nine classes helps us recognize the risks associated with different hazardous materials and take the necessary precautions to handle them safely. Material Safety Data Sheets, MSDS, or Safety Data Sheets, SDS, provide detailed information about chemical hazards and how to handle them safely. Material safety data sheets Safety data sheets of chemicals are provided by the manufacturer or supplier of the chemical. It gives the following information about the chemical. Physical properties Chemical properties Fire hazard Reactivity hazard Health hazard First aid measures Spill control measures Type of fire extinguishers to be used in case of fire. Personal protective equipments required. The NFPA 704 diamond is a visual system that shows the hazards of a material using a color-coded diamond. The NFPA 704 diamond, commonly referred to as the NFPA hazard diamond, provides a system for identifying the specific hazards of a material and the severity of the hazard that would occur during an emergency response. The system uses a color-coded diamond with four quadrants in which numbers are used in the upper three quadrants to signal the degree of health hazard, blue, flammability hazard, red, and reactivity hazard, yellow. The bottom quadrant is used to indicate special hazards. GHS labels use pictograms to warn about different dangers, like flammability or toxicity. These labels help us quickly understand the risks associated with a chemical. A GHS hazard pictogram consists of a black and white symbol surrounded by a red diamond. The hazard pictograms applicable to your chemical must be printed on the label in color. These pictograms are meant to warn hazardous chemical users about the potential hazards of the chemical. 1. Explosive Symbol Exploding Bomb 2. Flammable Flammable Symbol Flame 3. Oxidizing Oxidizing Symbol Flame Over Circle 4. Corrosive Corrosive Symbol Corrosion 5. Toxic Acute Toxicity Symbol, skull and cross bones. 6. Environmentally damaging hazardous to the environment. Symbol, environment. 7. Health hazard hazardous to the ozone layer. Symbol, exclamation mark. 8. Health hazard serious health hazard. Symbol, health hazard. 9. Compressed gas gas under pressure. Emergency information and procedure. Having the right emergency information is vital. Trucks carrying dangerous goods must have an emergency information panel. 
This panel shows important details like the chemical name, hazard class, UN number, and emergency contact. The Haschen code provides instructions for emergency response. Using GPS and IT, we can monitor cargo in real time, guide routes, and get immediate help in case of accidents. Reporting of accidents or incidents. If an accident happens while transporting hazardous goods, it must be reported immediately. The driver should report to the nearest police station and inform the owner. The report should include details like the type of goods, description of the accident, date and location, and information about any containment issues. Safe Handling of Hazardous Goods Safe handling of hazardous goods involves When receiving chemicals, make sure the containers are not damaged and add them to the inventory. During transport, avoid loading damaged packages, ensure the loading space is clean and secure the load to prevent movement during transit. In case of emergencies, follow these steps. For chemical spills, move away from populated areas if possible, stop the leak, secure the area and provide first aid to affected persons. For electrical fires, isolate the vehicle battery, inform the nearest fire station and avoid inhaling fumes. Use gas masks if necessary. Always follow proper procedures to ensure safety. Personal Protective Equipment PPE Personal Protective Equipment or PPE is crucial for safety. Conduct hazard assessments to identify the necessary PPE. Provide appropriate PPE to employees and train them on its use. Regularly check PPE to ensure it is in good condition. Proper use of PPE can prevent many accidents and injuries. To summarize, transportation safety is essential to prevent accidents and protect everyone. Each person involved has specific roles and responsibilities. Following emergency procedures and using PP properly are key to maintaining safety. Adhering to safety guidelines helps us protect lives and property. This is all about today's topic. Thanks for watching Funny EHS Info. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get immediate notification of our videos. Share our videos to your friends and colleagues to create safety awareness. If you have any questions and requirements, please comment in comment box.